first lives were put at risk during two frightening near misses involving drones and firefighting water bombers at the weekend. Frustrated authorities are pleading with operators to keep their machines out of the way. It was a routine operation for water bombers. Douse the flames of this Port Kennedy blaze. But as the aircraft refilled from a lake at the nearby golf course, a terrifying near miss. One of the helicopters, uh, whilst it was drawing water from a, a lake nearby, um, encountered a, a drone only metres away from its uh, rotor blades. Aerial support was forced to pull the pilot out and divert to another water source. This is the first time that uh, a mission has been affected. We've, we, we speak about it in every pre-season brief about the potential for drones in the area. We, we know they're a hazard. A second drone was spotted hovering above this fire at Austerlind the same day. Air crews were able to continue battling the flames, although the encounter was too close for comfort. The Civil Aviation Safety Authority is investigating both incidents. If caught, the drone's pilots face up to $10,500 in fines or even two years in jail. Mahmoud Hussein runs a drone pilot school in Applecross. He says as the number of drone owners rises, the risk increases. So you're putting a lot of lives at risk. And I think don't, a lot of people don't realise that. They think it's a drone, it's only you know one and a half kilos, it's not going to do any harm, but it can easily bring down a helicopter. He's warning operators to take more care or face the consequences. There's plenty of opportunity to fly your aircraft. Why fly in a dangerous situation? Why stop, you know, the emergency services doing their job? Alexandra Ristway, 10 Eyewitness News.